Hey guys, welcome back to the morning reading. Today's book is Meltdown. We have read this again in class, but it's just to refresh your memory. Mr. Joe and I will put up some activities in relation to the book. Meltdown. One morning, Mum decided to take Ruby shopping. Ruby can help Mummy, said Mum. Help him, Mummy, shouted Ruby, jumping up and down with glee. Then Ruby couldn't stop jumping up and down. That's enough jumping, said Mum. Enough jumping, said Ruby. Come on, said Mum, into the pushchair and off we go. Off we go, said Ruby. Whee! At first, Ruby tried her best to be helpful. Mum chose things and gave them to Ruby, and Ruby put them into the trolley. Mum handed Ruby a bag of carrots. Can you please put these in the trolley, please, asked Mum. In the trolley, said Ruby proudly, dropping them in. Then Mum handed Ruby a packet of crisps. In they go, said Mum. In they go, said Ruby, scrunching the pack to make it crackle. Not scrunching things, Ruby, said Mum. Do it properly. Properly, said Ruby. Mum handed Ruby a loaf of bread. Can you please put this in the trolley, she asked. In the trolley, said Ruby, throwing the bread up in the air. Not throwing it, said Mum. Do it nicely. Nicely, agreed Ruby. Then Mum handed Ruby a tin of beans. Ruby bent down and rolled it along the floor. Roll it in, she said. Roll it along. Right, said Mum. If you can't help me properly, you better go in the seat. In the seat, said Ruby, grabbing the trolley and running off with it. Come back here, Ruby, shouted Mum. You'd better stop right now or there will be trouble. And I mean it. You're not being very helpful, Ruby, said Mum, plunking her into the trolley. Not very helpful, agreed Ruby sadly. Mum trundled into the cake section. Let's get something nice for tea, she said. Look, they've got that cake with a piggy face on it. You like that one, don't you? Like that one, said Ruby. I'll just pop it into the trolley, said Mum. Ruby watched the cake go in and twist it around to look at it. Hold the piggy cake, she asked. No, no, said Mum. Leave it in the trolley. Okay, just leave it. Just leave it, agreed Ruby, nodding wisely. That's right, said Mum nervously. Just leave it, okay? Just hold it, Ruby asked again, smiling very sweetly. Just hold the piggy cake. Then Mum made a big mistake. All right then, she said, taking the box out of the trolley. Just hold it, okay? Ruby held out her arms and wiggled her fingers. Just hold it, she agreed grabbing the box and clutching it tightly. That's right, said Mum. Just hold it, okay? Ruby clutched the cake a bit too tightly. Then she looked up at her mum and smiled, a very determined smile. Have the piggy cake, said Ruby very loudly. Have the piggy cake now. Ruby squeezed the box and the cake fell out. No, no, said Mum, trying to grab the cake. Give the cake to Mummy. Have the piggy cake, yo, Ruby. Have the piggy cake now. Mum tried to lift Ruby out of the seat, but she stuck her legs out straight and fell backwards. Mum tried to grab the cake, but Ruby held onto it. Everyone was looking. 
Finally, Mum wrestled the squash cape from Ruby's clutches and Put was left back into the trolley. Ruby was screaming her head off. Give me the piggy cake! Have the piggy cake! Ah! I want it now! Ruby carried on screaming while Mum paid for the shopping. I am so sorry about this, said Mum to the checkout lady. I think she must be tired. You're not usually like this, are you, Ruby? But Ruby was plunging headfirst into the back of the trolley. Give me the piggy cake now, she screamed. Ah! Mum packed the bags as fast as possible, crammed Ruby into the pushchair and hurried out of the shop. Everyone was still looking. Ruby went on yelling all the way home. Give me the piggy cake now! Ah! I want it now! Ah! Ruby, said Mum, for goodness sake, everyone's looking at you. Stop that noise at once. But Ruby didn't stop at once. In fact, she didn't stop at all until they got to the front door. Mum pushed the push tower into the hall and sat down at the bottom of the stairs. Ruby was very tired and Mum was very cross. Now then, Ruby said Mum sternly, you were very naughty. Very naughty, agreed Ruby sadly. So what do you say to Mummy, asked Mum. Ruby smiled her best, sorriest smile and said in a tiny, teeny voice, have the piggy cake, please. The end, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that book. And Mr. Joe and I will put up more activities for it.